This is a simple video on how to include uh, the jQuery library from jQuery.com into your document. Um, first of all, you could just download the jQuery library from jQuery.com and just basically put it into the directory where your code is, uh, where your files are, document files are. But there are other, other ways to include the uh, source into the document, uh, which might be more efficient for you, depending on uh, your hosting provider and how, how much performance you require and uh, your user base. Um, just by downloading the file itself and putting it into your, uh, including into your document, like uh, basically just a basic script tag here into the head, into the head tag, it, it would just operate normal, like a, a regular website, uh, what you expect, which millions of people do. Uh, you want the minified version, you don't want the, the uh, uncompressed version, which is used for development purposes. Um, and that's it really, that, that'll work, that would actually work just by doing that. But if you want to use a CDN, which is I'm sure there's loads of CDNs out there, Content Delivery Network, which will help you if you've not got much bandwidth or your hosting provider might be slow, want to try to improve performance by maybe hoping that the end user has got it in their cache already, um, in the browser cache. Um, this is the official jQuery CDN. Um, the website shown there. Um, uh, they've got the Google one, which there's uh, so just go on that page there and find the other version you're looking for. And this is version 2.1.3. So, um, you get the Microsoft answer to it, which you'll find uh, the releases there on the CDN. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, this document's got jQuery functionality. I've actually added uh, some basic JavaScript at the bottom here to test actually if the jQuery library is actually loaded. So what you have to do is open this uh, in a browser. It'll work without your server running, which works as a standard. Um, HTML file, static. Um, basically, it's a layout box that tells you jQuery is loaded. If it wasn't loaded, it would actually not I'll have to just delete that for a second. Save and press F it reload. Obviously jQuery is not loaded because it's not been downloaded into the document while well included to the document. Basically that's it. That's all you need to know to include jQuery into your documents.